You guys ready? Because there's just one setting that you need to change in your camera settings right now if you don't do it already. And I promise you will see insane growth over the next couple of months. Well, if you try your hardest and you don't improve, come back to this video and downvote it. I dare you. But if you do succeed, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for other useful tips. I went from these kind of pictures eight years ago to something more like this. And here is one of the most important secrets that allowed me to achieve it. The setting you need to change is a shooting format. You need to start shooting images in raw format. And before you go, yeah, I've heard it before, whatever, just hear me out. Because in this video, I will tell you not only how hard it is to switch, but also how extremely beneficial it will be for you as a photographer. And by the end of the video, I will reveal a secret that hopefully will allow you to discover a whole new world. Ready? Let's go. So the raw file is an uncompressed image, right? It contains the direct image data from the camera sensor with absolutely no loss of uh, any quality and alteration. So you use this format to store the fullest details of the captured images so that they can be edited as you want. That's why it is so important to shoot in RAW. It allows you to be more flexible and creative. And that is the one biggest change that will allow you to be so much better as a photographer. However, there is a price to pay while shooting in RAW. Since you save all that information in uh, one file, the file size is much bigger. RAW can be even like 10 times bigger uh, compared to JPEG. It also involves more work since you can't just print or post RAW images on social media. They need, unfortunately or luckily, to be edited. And for that, you need the software. I'll tell you what I use by the end of the video. And yes, it is hard to master RAW because of the whole editing process. When you shoot in JPEG, you just you know, post the picture wherever you want and you're done. RAW requires not only your photography, but also your editing skills. And that is the reason why you actually grow as a photographer. Editing is as important as capturing the image. You see, when you shoot in JPEG, the camera captures the image actually in RAW, but immediately does editing for you and on top of that, it compresses the image and deletes all raw data. The image still comes out in a very good quality and there's absolutely no problem of shooting in raw if the image looks exactly as you want it to look. However, if you want to do edits to it, uh, well, you will significantly reduce the quality when saving the image because you see, you're actually trying to re-edit already edited picture but the camera has already deleted the raw data. So JPEG does not give you so much flexibility, does not allow you to, for example, recover the shadows or uh, highlights, and in general, just does the job for you. But there is an upside for this, because not always you need to shoot in RAW. And here are three things what's good about JPEGs. First, the file sizes are much lighter, so uh, you can actually cram in more pictures in one SD card. Second, if you shoot like family gathering, a birthday or just some whatever basic stuff, you don't need to shoot in RAW. People will want those pictures even before all guests have gone home. So you, you don't want to edit like 300 pictures and send, send them, you know, like half a year later. They don't care about the quality to, you know, post on Facebook. And third, it, it's so easy to share those files. Almost all cameras now have uh, Wi-Fi or NFC. Um, so you can literally just share the image as you take it. So if you're brave enough and you want to start shooting it off, first of all, congratulations. It doesn't have to be drastic switch. What you do is you just set your shooting format in camera to RAW plus JPEG. It basically saves the original RAW file and the JPEG version of it alongside the RAW file without deleting it. I was shooting like that for a good two years. I know, I know, I'm a slow learner here, but you will manage it as well if I did. 
when you feel that you are always using a raw file and you actually don't touch those JPEGs anymore, just switch to RAW completely. And from there on, your journey as a photographer, it will just hop on absolutely different level. You'll see. And before I reveal you one amazing thing about shooting in RAW, I just want to quickly mention about the software. Yes, shooting in RAW will require you to use an editing software. There is no way around it. I'm sorry, I didn't make the rules, okay? Uh, but there are a bunch of free online software such as GIMP, uh, Pixlr and some others as well as paid ones like the program that I use personally and that's Adobe Lightroom Classic. And the final thing that for me was a discovery in photography itself. You can use presets. Oh my, presets are amazing. I should make probably a separate video about it, but you can, you should use presets on raw images only, not on JPEGs. It doesn't really work out well. Uh, regarding the presets, you can create your own presets, you can buy them, or you can also go check them out on my website and get a bunch of them for free. So that is another great reason why you should start shooting in raw. I'll be making more videos about this topic in near future, so make sure to subscribe and share this video with someone you think should switch to shooting in RAW. It honestly helps me out so much that you can't even imagine. Tom Zurich is here and I hope to see you all very, very soon.